Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for July 18th through 24th, 2022. Let's have a look and see what we've got for you guys in the week ahead. This is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Make sure to check out all of your signs for the big picture. Um, also remember this is a general reading. Not everything will resonate with you. Take the parts that do and leave the rest behind. So let's have a look and see what we've got coming out here for you guys. We have birth, rebirth, and we also have the high priestess. So the birth, rebirth energy, this is awesome. All right. So in the week ahead, this is bringing you inspiration, the ability to start something new or make improvements in your life. This is an absolutely awesome energy. Something old may be revived again. You might just be feeling a little bit creative or inspired on some level. Okay. But this really does bring you in the new and improved energy. Absolutely fabulous. So maybe you're making some changes this week, or perhaps you're making some long-term plans. Um, if you have had a previous endeavor that didn't quite work out or it just never quite took off or got off the ground, might be a time to revisit that energy because it is rebirth. What is old can be new again. All right. But there may also be other areas in your life where you can revive something. You can literally make something old new again. Maybe you're going to refinish some furniture, um, redo your house. Um, perhaps there's an old passion project that you've got, an old hobby that you've abandoned. Okay, so whatever it is, it's all here and it's new and improves some positive changes ahead for you. We also have the high priestess. Okay, so trust your intuition. This is absolutely a must. We always we always have that message. We always need to trust our intuition. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. And usually when we don't, we can look back on something and go, oh yeah, I knew I should have done it that way. So try and trust your intuition the first time around before your brain takes over and screws everything up. But the high priestess energy also gives you um, perhaps a sense of just knowing things before they happen. Um, so perhaps there's something in the week ahead where you just have this uh, premonition perhaps, or you just got this inner knowing that something's going to go a certain way or something's going to happen. Your senses are heightened. Your intuition is heightened here as well. Okay. So follow your visions, follow your goals, pay attention to your intuition. All right. Great week for you for some meditation as well with that particular energy. But the high priestess also brings in an energy of discernment of picking and choosing, picking and choosing what to do, what battles to fight. Uh, so just be a little bit maybe conservative in certain aspects if they threaten to go astray. Maybe you can avert uh, some issues or avoid some drama in some certain way, okay? But uh, you could certainly be headed down a very wonderful path with that particular energy. So trust all of your senses, now, so let's see what we've got for the week ahead. The Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun. Holy crap, holy. All right, well then, Aries, um, <laughs> you've got a pretty damn good week, I'm going to say. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, wow. The Wheel of Fortune, I think there's certainly some things changing in your world with that particular energy. The bottom of the deck, you might just have a little bit of luck. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles can certainly represent some good, uh, good tidings coming your way now whether this is in the form of you know some money or raise or a bonus maybe a helping hand maybe someone shares responsibilities the six of pentacles can sometimes bring a surprise quite often into your material world it is a reminder of the law of giving and receiving what we put out into the universe returns back to us multiplied so you may be getting some sort of returns this week whether it is somebody helping you out because it is a card of charity okay it's a card of you know people helping people okay things like that so it could be that some good deed that you've done um previously comes back to you Someone may return the favor. Uh, they may give you a helping hand. Maybe there's some knowledge, okay, that heads your way. Maybe some extra money. Something catches you off guard. A little bit of a surprise. 
but you may also be helping other people out as well. You might be giving someone else a helping hand, some guidance or assistance. But the Six of Pentacles is also a card of balance. Okay, so finding some balance and equal common ground on areas of your life may be very important, whether it's in a relationship, right? Uh, you know, equal level commitment, whether it's a job, honest days work for honest days pay. Okay, whether you have an opportunity to restore your situation now in the here and now, or maybe you're looking to make some change. If you are looking to make some change, this is awesome energy. Very supportive of that. But we do start out with the Knight of Pentacles. So you might start out um, the week just a little bit slow. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is an awesome energy, but is very slow. Okay, so maybe you're just, uh, you know, uh, just taking things one day at a time. You may have some detail-oriented projects that you're working on. The Knight of Pentacles is an awesome energy for looking at the finer details of things, of exploring uh, your opportunities or looking at, say, the fine print of things, all that kind of stuff, um, before you make a decision to move forward. It's a very, very, um, uh, a very patient card. Um, one where you actually may get an offer or an opportunity that does come to you. It could be associated with that Six of Pentacles. It could be something that you're um, you're wanting to pursue. The Six of uh, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles can be something where you are putting yourself out there. So if you're looking to make an investment, gather, acquire some more knowledge, maybe you're looking for a new job, okay, or maybe there's a promotion or a raise or just something there that you want to do in your physical world um, that is part of your long-term success okay this can be a level of commitment that you show or that somebody shows to you okay so whether this is you being diligent and wise in your energy being a little conservative actually where you do put your time and attention as well okay but whatever you're looking for for new or improved here it is for you with the knight of pentacles slow and steady wins the race but i think some of you really are looking to make some sort of change we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in here. So we've got a um, new cycle that's coming in for you. Whenever we do have a shift in cycle, it sometimes comes with a little bit of uncertainty. Okay, only because, you know, for a great, a great reward um, for, I'm oh, sorry, how do I want to say that? Great change may be, bring great reward, but you have to be focused. You have to be diligent. Hello, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. You've got to make sure that you're looking at the positive that you're moving forward. Okay. But it sometimes does bring a little bit of upsets, a little bit of chaos to the situation, right? And if you've ever thought of, you know, when you are making change, the result of changes is absolutely fantastic. But first, you've got to weather a little bit of ups and downs, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune does bring in uh, a little bit of luck to you. It does bring in uh, a, a new cycle of increase, expansion, improvement, okay? The universal green light when we get that Wheel of Fortune. But it's also a karmic card. Um, it's a, it's an energy here of, you know, good karma flowing back to you. And we do have things flowing back to you with the six of pentacles as well. So this is really a great time for you to invest in something to, um, make that change. Okay. Or to really gather all of your information and tools and resources that you need to sort out some issues and problems. Maybe you can just, um, have an opportunity here to improve a situation. Okay. But it may require a little bit of change it may have a little bit of uncertainty to it okay but do your homework put one foot in front of the other and you will get to where you want to go focus on uh, the end result or focus on what you want to do okay because we can get when we are really staring at the wheel of fortune right imagine this wheel spinning 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 okay or maintain your focus look at the middle right if you don't look at the middle you're going to get dizzy and fall over so we do want to make sure that we are focusing on what it is we want focus on the positive and we'll keep that wheel turning in the right direction the wheel of fortune can also represent travel we do have the sun coming out here. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. You may be making a purchase of some kind, okay? And that Wheel of Fortune, boom, spinning you off into the atmosphere. Maybe you're going to a tropical destination with the sun. Uh, maybe something to do with your family or children or just some uh, people that you really enjoy their company. If you are uh, traveling, this looks actually kind of like it's going to be a good time. But the sun, whatever your situation is, brings about happiness and joy. It also brings about a big burst of 
inspiration, optimism, and creativity coming into your week, okay? Whatever you are doing in the week ahead, I think you're going to be really happy with the result. I think you've got a very high vibe week ahead of you, and I think you've got a lot of potential. The sun just shines a beautiful, beautiful light on your entire week. The sun is always a good card, no matter where it falls in your reading, okay? And, um, but yeah, you might just be spending some time with, um, you know, with uh, your family, your children, you may be traveling, you may be spending some time literally out in the sun, okay? But the sun brings success and abundance into your world, okay? So wherever you commit, wherever you put your time and energy, whatever you focus on this week, okay, you will accomplish your goals or you will very much be well on your way, whatever that looks like to you, because that sun brings about a huge burst of positive energy, your advice from spirit. We've got the seven of wands. Stand up for yourself. Stand your ground. You can overcome anything that life throws at you this week. Okay. You might need to put up some boundaries. We already said that a little bit earlier. Okay. But really with the seven of wands, yes, it's a little bit of an empowerment card. Okay. You may be faced with some obstacles in the week ahead. Okay. But when we've got all of this energy, focus on the solution. Keep your eyes on the prize and things get a little bit easier to deal with. But seven of uh, wands really really is spirit reminding you about how strong and how powerful you are. You have a lot of confidence. You've got a lot of skills and abilities for whatever it is that you put your um, attention to. And this is your time to stand up about a, uh, stand out above a crowd. Okay, so if you're looking at making any kind of change or anything like that, or you know, if you want to put yourself out there to improve your situation, spirit wants you to know that you are in that position of strength. You have the ability to really shine this week. Okay, so don't discount yourself. Don't undermine yourself in any way. We have a great, uh, great energy and great uh, human uh, propensity for doing that. Right. It's like sometimes you might be your own worst enemy. So uh, stand up for yourself there. Be in a position of strength, okay? Be confident that you can achieve what you set out to achieve, all right? And if you need to put up some boundaries somewhere or really um, advocate for yourself on some level, okay, this is an awesome energy for that. Your blessings headed your way. The Ten of Cups, holy crap, holy, all right? We have the two happiest energies in the entire deck, the sun, and of course, the Ten of Cups comes in as blessings for you. So this is your happily ever after card. This is bringing in a lot of positivity, a lot of joy, success, okay? Your emotional needs are met and fulfilled this week, whatever that looks like to you. When we get that 10 of Cups, you might be spending some time with your family, friends. If you're on vacation, wow, this is an awesome week for you, okay? It's just everything just kind of clicks into place and goes right. You know, sometimes you can take a week off work or something and and, um, you know, you've got this vacation time planned and it rains or, you know, someone gets sick or, you know, you lose your wallet or something, right? Nope. Everything is, uh, uh, the energy here is that everything is going in your right direction. But that 10 of cups, absolutely fabulous. This brings in, um, a lot of potential. It does bring in emotional abundance into your life. This brings together, it's your happy ever after card. So what does your happy ever after look like to you? And, you know, you look, we've got the two tens coming in here. Okay, we do have a shift in cycles coming in and this is bringing a lot of happiness, joy, growth, expansion, success, everything all flowing towards you. If you are looking to make some change, this is the time. The tens reduce down into ones, right? So one, one, new beginnings, making improvements. There's that birth and rebirth. Again, you might be feeling inspired in the week ahead or you've just got a super duper positive outlook. Maybe you discover something wonderful. All right, your overall outcome, we've got the five of wands. Now it's interesting here because your five of wands can certainly represent uh, some teamwork sometimes, okay? It can represent a whole bunch of people um, coming together, um, having fun, being active, being outside. The five of wands can also bring in some competition. Remember, this is your time to stand out in the crowd. Perhaps it's your time to throw yourself in the mix for something that really does have the potential to propel you to great heights, something that you really want. Is it something to do with your workplace? Is it a passion project? All right. Is it actually even some physical activity as well can come in with the five of wands because uh, it quite often is a card of training. 
but it's one of physical activity as well. So perhaps there is, uh, you know, some physical activity that you can do that will actually bring about some super duper positive change for you. Okay, perhaps the Knight of Pentacles, you're committing to some personal growth, okay, some personal improvements here, improving your physical self, your physical body. Maybe you're just looking to improve your life in all kinds of ways. But the Five of Wands also does come out. Um, it can be a little bit of drama, okay, a little bit of family drama, maybe workplace drama, just so you're aware, okay, but I think that a positive outlook here, oh, and the high priest has energy a little bit of your uh, foreshadowing, your uh, deep inner knowing, maybe you know that there's going to be some sort of situation that does arise and you'll be able to sidestep it, dodge it, uh, so to speak there, but I think here that you may actually also make a decision to throw yourself in the mix for a little bit of competition if you're looking for uh, things like love or a new job okay a promotion things like that the five of um, wands can be an energy of competition so maybe you are throwing yourself into the mix there all right a lot of people competing for this same thing okay but if that's the case this is really your time you've got some really great qualities here where you rise above the competition you stand out in a crowd so don't be afraid to throw yourself out there a little bit this week because you just never know what may happen so it looks pretty good okay pretty good so keep your wits about you with that five of wands coming out there um, but I think everything else is pretty good so let's get a couple last messages out here for you I'm gonna get the namaste blessings card I haven't had these out for a while I really love these cards actually so here's your first last message and we have here the blessing of omnipresence. Oh, look at that. Breathe in light and breathe out any unwanted thoughts. Dwelling on what has been or what might have been serves no purpose. Feel the healing omnipresent light that surrounds and fills you. Focus on the present for it is blessed with infinite potential. And we do have that coming out in your reading there, folks. And here is your next card. Final message. The blessing of just being. You may have been thinking that if you had acted or chosen differently in the past, things would be better now. But in thinking this way, you fail to see the positive effects your past actions and choices have had on both yourself and others. Look closely and you will see the many blessings. Namaste. I'll leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated on some level. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel as well. If you haven't already, show those YouTube algorithm gods that you enjoy my readings and more people will see them. So anyways, um, feel free to leave a comment in the box down below as well. Start a conversation. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Certainly a whole whack of positive energy in here for you. Use it to your fullest advantage. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.